What's up guys, Justice here on a roll strength training and today I'm back with another video talking about the common mistakes I'm seeing amongst college lifters and this one is specifically about the squat. Really we're going to get into why you should avoid dive bombing into the squat, like dropping really fast into the squat like I'm seeing so many college kids do. And why do you need this information? Why should you continue watching this video? Well simply if you're dive bombing into the squat, not only are you forming a bad habit, but you're keeping yourself from being able to stay really tight, which is absolutely necessary to lift the impressive weight that I know you want to. So let's get right into the information, right? So by dive bombing into the squat, like I said, you're, you're losing tightness, right? You get to the bottom and then you bounce out of the hole. And more times than not, I see the knees cave in and people losing tightness in their midsection, which is necessary to keep that spine safe. And then of course, just to produce force the way that you want to, right? Keep that bar over the midfoot, which is very important. So this is what you need to do while you're squatting, Think about dragging yourself down into the squat, right? Control that motion, load your, your glutes, your hamstrings, feel that as you go down. And then explode out of the bottom uh, as fast as you like, but make sure you're controlling that descent. It'll make a world of a difference in how tight you're able to stay and then how you're able to drive out of the hole and control that heavy weight when it gets that time for you to do that new uh, max and get that PR. This is a good idea and we know this now because there was actually a study done where they looked at top power lifters and all of their descents seem to be slower, at least on average, than their ascent, right? So they would go down slow and control and then go up as fast as they can. Now I'm sure there's some outliers, you could probably point out some people who do it differently, but for the most part, most of them are controlling it on the way down. And either way, you're probably not at that point yet where you can make that decision for yourself, right? So make sure that you get good at controlling the squat on the way down, right? And another good thing you can do to throw in on maybe your off days or on days when you're doing a squat variation is to actually do controlled eccentrics, right? So you're gonna go down very slow, you're gonna pause at the bottom and go up. I like to start my uh, lifters at around five second descent, three second hold, but you can work up to anything as high as a 10 second descent and a five second hold at the bottom before exploding up at the, uh, out of the squat as fast as you can. So that's a great tip. Remember, if you are dive bombing into the squat, you're losing control, you're not gonna be able to stay tight and you're not gonna be able to hit that new PR when you want to and ever lift really anything impressive. You have to learn how to not only properly brace, right, but also to pull yourself down into that squat and control that weight the whole time. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, comment below, share it with your friend who's dive bombing in the squat. I know you've seen somebody doing that. Go ahead and give it a share. Check out my Instagram. I'm actually doing a lot of form analysis for free for college students, so you can check my Instagram link below and go ahead and send me a DM if you want your squat, deadlift, bench analyzed for completely free. That's it guys. I'll see you in the next video. No dive bombing.